So here's Google Maps on the tick watch. So right now it's just trying to locate us and then it's connected to my OnePlus phone. So what I'm gonna try to do, oh, there we go. There's the color version. So I wanna see if we can have it navigate to our area. Take me to Raising Cane. Take me to Raising Cane. Okay, it's trying to launch Google Maps. And I don't know there, Greg. Looks like it's frozen to me. <laughs> or it doesn't know that there's one in Utah. Nope, wants to take me to Nevada or California. Okay. So now we'll try on the phone. Take me to Raising Cane. Turn right onto North University Avenue. Okay, so now that, yep. So now the phone is talking to the watch. And then if I was driving, like Greg there, uh, I could just see these navigations right on my wrist. So now it's telling me to turn right on University Avenue. Continue on North University Avenue for three miles. There we go. So the voice commands don't come from the watch. I'll try I'll try again as I'll pair a pair of head I'll pair a pair. <laughs> I'll connect a pair of headphones to the watch and then see if I get audible commands as well as the little pop-up commands on the tick watch. So still kind of cool that it does have those little commands. And then they just, there's a slight buzz on the watch and then you can see the quick turns while you're driving right from your wrist. It's a personal preference. Some people like it. What do you think, Greg? No idea. He, he said no idea. <laughs>